the Your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by creditsanitizer.com. You have a credit report, it's wrong. What are you doing about it? Let's see here. How does a home equity loan affect your credit? If you own your home and have significant equity in it, you may be able to tap into some of that equity through a home equity loan or home equity line of credit, a HELOC. Before you do, however, it's important to consider how taking on an additional loan or line of credit may affect your FICO score. Here's what you need to know about how home equity loans and HELOCs work and how they may impact your credit. So how do the home equity loans and HELOCs work? A type of a, a, it's a type of second mortgage. Home equity loans and HELOCs are similar in that they both allow homeowners to access some of the equity they have in their home, either in the form of an installment loan or revolving line of credit. With a home equity loan, you'll receive the full loan amount up front and then pay it back over a fixed period of time, which can be between 5 to 30 years with a fixed interest payment. In contrast, a HELOC is a revolving line of credit similar to a credit card. Upon approval, you can take draws from your line of credit, typically via a debit card, bank transfer, or even paper checks. Does anybody use paper checks anymore? During the draw period, which can last up to 10 years, borrowers are only required to pay interest on the amount they've borrowed. However, if they max out their credit limit, they'll need to pay down the balance if they want to continue making draws. Once the draw period ends, they'll enter into a repayment period, which can last up to 20 years, during which they'll pay down the remaining balance. Unlike home equity loans, HELOCs typically have a variable interest rates, which can fluctuate over time. In some cases, though, the lender may allow you to convert some or all of your balance to a fixed rate payment loan. With both types of credit, you may be able to deduct the interest you pay if you use the loan funds to buy, build, or substantially improve the home used as collateral for the debt. If you use the proceeds for other purposes, though the interest is not tax deductible, again, not giving you tax advice, talk to a CPA, enrolled agent, or other licensed professional. How do home equity loans and HELOCs affect your FICO scores? There are several different ways that these second mortgages may impact your credit for better or for worse. Here's a breakdown of what to expect. Payment history. If you can manage to make your payments on time, home equity loans and HELOCs can help you increase your FICO scores over time. However, if you miss a payment by 30 days or more, it could have a significant negative impact on your credit. Additionally, because you're using your home as collateral for the loan or line of credit, Defaulting on your payments could result in the lender foreclosing on the home, damaging your FICO scores even more, and leaving you without a primary residence. As a result, it's crucial that you make sure you can afford the additional monthly payments before you commit. Amounts owed, how much you owe, is another important factor in your FICO scores. With a home equity loan and a HELOC, how much you owe is another important factor in your FICO scores. The debt carried via a home equity loan or a HELOC can impact your FICO scores via the amounts owed category of your credit score under the amount owed on all accounts subcategory. How much of the installment loan amount is still owed compared with the original loan amount may also be a factor. Length of credit history. Adding a new trade line to your credit reports will result in the average age of your accounts going down, which could have a negative impact on your FICO scores. However, Because home equity loans and HELOCs often have long terms, they can have a positive impact on your credit over time, particularly if you manage them responsibly. New credit. Each time you apply for new credit, the lender will typically run a hard inquiry on your credit reports to evaluate your credit worthiness. A new inquiry may knock fewer than five points off your FICO score, but if you apply for multiple credit accounts, it could have a compounding effect. Keep in mind, though, that inquiries and other changes to your credit report impact everyone's scores differently depending upon their credit history. Some people might see bigger changes than others. The good news is that if you want to shop around and compare interest rates and terms before deciding on a lender, you can usually do so without worrying about damaging your credit score too much. With newer FICO score models, mortgage, auto, and student loan hard inquiries made within a 45-day rate shopping period are combined into one for scoring purposes. The credit mix. Having different types of credit can help boost your FICO scores because it shows that you can manage a range of credit options. So adding a second mortgage 
could potentially improve the credit mix component of your credit scores. Make sure your credit is ready for a home equity loan or a HELOC. If you're thinking about applying for a home equity loan or HELOC, it is important to understand the requirements and to prepare your credit for the application. Like conventional mortgage loans, second mortgage loans typically require FICO scores of 620 or above, though some lenders may provide some flexibility. Regardless, the higher your FICO score, the better your chances of securing a lower interest rate. Additionally, many lenders only allow you to borrow up to a combined loan to value of 80%. We do have some hard money lenders or private money lenders, which may make the, may alter those numbers, but you got to pay for it. That means that the balances on both your primary and second mortgages cannot exceed 80% of the value of your home. But again, some lenders may, may be more flexible than others, and you may be able to borrow up to a combined loan to value of 100%. In addition to your credit history and home value, lenders will also consider your debt to income ratio, DTI for those of you in the industry, which is the percentage of gross monthly income that goes toward debt payments. DTI requirements can vary by lender, but you can generally expect a limit of 43%. Before you apply for a home equity loan or HELOC, check your FICO scores, cleanall3.com, cleanall3.com. Cost you a buck, you get all three FICO scores in your full report. You can then use that same report for a free credit audit at creditsanitizer.com, a free credit audit for creditsanitizer.com. Told you a lot about all these different issues. It's a great way for you to help your FICO score. And then when interest rates come down, generally they do during a recession, we'll be in the position to help you out and get all of that cleaned up completely. So you can go in and, and I'm going to share with you, again, rsrccpayment.com, rsrccpayment.com. It's a short eight-minute video or seven-minute video, something like that, telling you how to pay your credit cards the right way. So if you get that HELOC, you might want to get the credit report done the right way or get your, your payments made the right way. Clean up all your credit. Now here, clean up all your, your debts. Here's the issue that I cannot help you with. Sorry, I've done this for a lot of years. We've shown people how to get out of debt, pay off all their debt using some of their home equity. It's up to you once you pay it off not to run the debt back up again. Get a lot of people that just run that debt right back up and it defeats the whole purpose of what we're trying to share with you. So... You can go and do this, rsrrapidpayoff.com, rsrrapidpayoff.com. And then once you've figured that out, we've gone over that whole thing with you, then you go to rsrccpayment.com, rsrccpayment.com. And you're able to then just, it's, it's a pretty simple process that we really want to show you how to live your life making two payments every single month, two payments a month. I hear people say, well, two payments a month doesn't matter, Ron. Well, that's just because they don't know how to do it strategically. You make one payment before the statement closing date so that you minimize the amount at that time. You make the second payment right before the payment due date so you don't get late. That's all there is to it. It's not, it's not rocket science. Just throw that out there for you. 